this perpendicular from the origin on the line okay and the length is p the p here is perpendicular from origin on the line okay you have to see the intensity of this thing okay if the line was something like this then the perpendicular will be something like this okay so i know this value of p if the line was this then the perpendicular will be this so in in this normal form i'll always be given the value of p that the perpendicular from the origin on the line is equal to p okay and the second thing which i know is the angle alpha okay the angle made by perpendicular with the positive x axis okay angle made by this p with positive x axis okay so we know the value of alpha as well okay then we'll try to find out the equation of the straight line okay i know these two parameters first one is the perpendicular from the origin on the line and second one is the angle made by p with the positive x axis okay so the equation of straight line first we'll calculate the value of this one this thing if we try to apply a trigonometry in this case okay we can simply see cos alpha is equal to p upon let's say this point is a and this is b p upon oa agreed cos alpha is equal to p upon oa because cos cos alpha cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse in this case the base is the angle between the right angle and the this alpha okay so cos alpha is equal to p upon oa which implies oa is equal to p sec alpha okay i had to find the value of oa oa comes over here this comes over here oa is equal to p upon cos alpha which implies oa is equal to p sec alpha okay similarly if we want to find the value of ob this can easily be easily be calculated this angle will come out to be 90 minus alpha similarly this angle will be alpha okay so in this case i know this value p only this value p is known okay then ob comes out to be p cosec alpha okay this is simple trigonometry you can you all can easily do this okay so now we know two values oa and ob now what i actually are oa and ob these are nothing but the intercepts made by the line on the x axis and y axis oa is the x intercept and ob is the y intercept okay O is the x-intercept and O B is the y-intercept. Therefore, the equation of line in the intercept form is given by x upon x-intercept p cosec alpha plus y upon p sec alpha. Okay, sorry, uh, this x-intercept comes out to be sec alpha. Okay, and this is p cosec alpha. This is equal to one. Okay. x upon the x intercept plus y upon the y intercept is equal to 1 okay this is a common confusion that we try to link x with sin alpha ki x pehle aa raha hai fir sin alpha pehle aayega but x ke sath yahan pe cos alpha aayega okay the reason behind this is resolution of vectors which we already study in the physics okay if we try to put the components of this p this component will be we know and this component we also know okay so this is a simple application of this so the this equation will come out to be x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p by just taking no lcm 1 upon sec alpha is equal to cos alpha 1 upon cos alpha is equal to sin alpha and this p will go 